What, what was your reaction when you heard that? I think this week at the GIA meetings, the, this was the biggest story, right? It was, wow, you can win a World Series and your employer says, yeah, we'll, we'll give you an extension, but we'll only guarantee you one more year as our general manager. And in any workspace, whether it's us, whether you're a president of baseball ops or a general manager, you want to be somewhere where you're wanted. And clearly, James Click felt like with everything that his ownership group said about his performance and, you know, they didn't put a, a longer term deal on the table. It's like, hey, yeah, one year to come back after you've taken a team to two, built a team to get to two World Series in a row to win one. And six days after that, now the Astros are looking for a GM. And so it's, it's a very odd situation. It's one a lot of people around baseball are very, you know, it's a head scratcher for yeah. sure. Yeah, I mean, I, given I wanna, the success. Real quick, and, and you don't have to say anything to this, but it feels like a situation where there's credit to be given, and one side said it's because of them, which would be the GM, and the ownership thinks that they had a big hand in it. And so it's kind of one of those who wants to take the credit, who's going to get it, and it feels like now you lose an integral piece of your success because maybe you didn't want to dole out the proper credit to that person. Yeah, well, I mean, I knew something was a little fishy because Dusty Baker, his c contract was up October 31st and he got a deal done right away. But the fact that this was so prolonged and they hadn't gotten anything done, I was like, okay, do they do they want him to come back? Right. What's going on and here? It was technically, you know, you get to the GM innings if you're James Click the day of the parade. So he leaves the parade, goes right to Vegas for the GM meetings. Now you're answering all these questions about your contract situation, and he's kind of just left out there to answer them. Yep. And you, it, a normal person's like, you're a better person than me, because why would somebody want to answer all those questions not knowing about their future? Right. But he did that, and then a couple of days later, he's here, no longer the GM of the, the Astros. Well, now we got to look ahead, right? And, and Jim Crane, I mean, the pressure is on, because now you're getting rid of your GM that has brought a lot of success. You are coming off a World Series, looking to repeat or, you know, get far in the postseason. So where do they go from here? Yeah, it, you're late in the game. Right, because free agency uh, has started already. GM meetings are, have concluded. Winter meetings are coming up in a couple of weeks. And so you got to look really quickly here and see who you identify as being your next GM and how long they're going to be your GM. I know there's a lot of uh, people out there who say, okay, David Stearns was president of baseball ops or for the – Brewers in Milwaukee, but he said today to MLB.com that he's not going anywhere. So now your attention turns somewhere else, and who is that person? That remains to be seen.